All right, beautiful, beautiful Bonneville. What was the year again? 1957 Pontiac, Star Chief. 57 Pontiac, yeah. look at that. We've got a Corvette engine. LS6, out of a Corvette. Just rebadged to be a Pontiac. All GM parts. Wow, Chris, I mean, it's just magnificent. I mean, this is show car material right here. The clean firewall, beautiful coloring, and the two-tone colors. How did you decide with the... Um... Well, I played at Tennessee football there. So, really? Um, yeah. Are so you sure? I just, I, just um, <laughs> I had this orange off of another color, yep. and uh, I wasn't going to paint it orange and white, but a buddy of mine said, let's try it. So... He wanted to paint it orange and then white top, and I'm like, that's way too much orange. I like you can't, orange. It can't be too much orange, especially now. We're having a great season. I know, but it's, <laughs> that's too much orange. So we painted it white, and then we added the orange accents to it. Um, used most of the running gears out of the Corvette that was demolished, and um, a buddy of mine uh, built the, uh, did the did the upholstery on it. Um, so how did you come across the Corvette? Do what? How did you come across the Corvette? It was wrecked. It was wrecked? Yeah. Okay. I just took the motor and transmission and uh, the console and stuff out of it. Even the console as mm -hmm. well. All right. We'll have a look at that. But the thing that I love is you've built the chassis yourself. Right. I, I uh, patterned it, it after uh, a Corvette chassis. Corvette chassis mm -hmm. as well. So it drives like a Corvette. It's just a little heavier. It weighs 3,700 and something pounds. But you've got the right suspension for that. Oh, yeah. So that's... Oh, yeah. It rides perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I love the Bonneville here because it's, um, as I was telling Chris before, from a distance, I thought it might have been the ballet, but coming up close up, it's definitely longer. Yeah. Eight inches longer, you mentioned. Correct. It's probably as long as that station wagon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just did that interview there. Yeah. <laughs> Now look at this. Can we um, get in for a wow. Oh, I can just smell the leather. Absolutely. Made all of the decals. Um, made the uh, rear, the rear vent. It's got a... I thought it was a speaker. Uh, it's, it's got a big subwoofer in there. Nice. And you said you used the Corvette console? Uh, that's out of a Camaro, that gear shifter is. Okay. Put a big old stereo system in it. How long did it take you? Two, uh, I, was, I bought it 10 years ago. It took yep. me, once I started on it, it took me two years. And how did you come across this again? Bought it out of a warehouse in New Jersey. It was a fire chief car. It had sirens and lights and everything on it. Full on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it stayed it sit in the warehouse for 35 years. Wow. And I knew I was going to tear it up. So rust really wasn't a big issue for me. Yeah. Um, so. So how do you know how to restore these classics? Just done it all my life. You know, played with them and had cars and hire the right guys to help me get it done. Yep. I'm just sort of a grunt guy. No, oh, that's bot. But they, uh, I mean, I can't do the upholstery and that kind of stuff, but I got I got friends that do, so I got were you, friends Were you right looking places. for the 57? I, I had, uh, I've built several 57s. Okay. And sold them at different places, make them some other places, and, uh, but I was looking to do one for me to keep. So I've built quite a few cars. And, uh, and why, why this car? Why the Because everybody's got a 57 Chevrolet. Everybody's got a 55. I got 56 Chevrolets, 55, 57 Chevrolets. Yep. Nobody has a 57 Pontiac. No. Yeah. No, that's true. That's true. You don't yeah. see them as often as you do with the tri -fives. No, they were a little bit rare. And plus, if you look at this car, of course, it's a lot larger than a 57 Chevrolet. But it... Um, it looks like a 57 yeah. Chevrolet. It's got the same Water. fins, not, not, not as big, but it looks the same way. That's so. a Pontiac. It's a Pontiac. <laughs> so let's 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 listen to the stereo system. Hopefully I won't need Wow. I like the sound of the engine more than the stereo. Let me get in front. Oh no. 
You'll like the stereo. Well, I'm going to enjoy that, but you guys won't be able to hear it because YouTube won't allow the music, but at least I can enjoy it and you can see my Let's reaction. Let's see. Um, I'll play something. With bass. Because if you've got a subwoofer in the back, then we need to have some bass. Yeah, you can't play it on your web, on your YouTube channel. No. It's happened before. Other people have shown me their um, stereos and it's silent, but they can see my reaction and know exactly how loud it is, right? <laughs> so let's pick something you'll like. But you know what? I can put on my social media, so let me make sure I get my phone out. All right, sit down. Do you want me to sit in here? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Hey everybody, sorry about this. I did have to cut down the music, but I still wanted to show you exactly how nice it was on the inside of this beautiful classic. That's the subwoofer in the back. It was pretty intense. The music was very loud. <laughs> there you go. So for those of you who can lip read, you can see exactly my reaction and what I'm saying. But um, I couldn't really speak then, so you can see the dash there. This is a top-notch car. I mean, it's been done so well, restored to the T. Check that out. Absolutely brilliant. Very comfy, very roomy, and yeah, it's a Pontiac luxury sedan. <laughs> I could have kept sitting in there, but anyway, let's continue on with the interview. Mate. So that, that subwoofer sits right there. I can see, and it's just the whole sound is distributed so well. It makes like you're sitting at a concert, doesn't it? Yes, 100%. You've done the speakers really well. Hey, let's, let's get the right thing playing, right? <laughs> let's get the right thing playing for today, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, she's smart. Oh, she's <laughs> she smart. Look at her. It. She actually called it the dolly and the and the dog car. The dolly? Why the dolly? Yeah, you're gonna have to show me. You can't tell me these things and not show me. Why is it the dolly? The dolly. Barton. <laughs> You're five year old, Why, what has she been focusing on? I mean, I love Dolly Parton, you know, she's got a beautiful voice, beautiful personality, but she's memorable, so yes. you can't, you know, you can't diss that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, what's the plans for this? I'll be able to keep. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is the car you wanted to keep, right? You're not yeah. going to sell it. Yeah, I have some I build to sell, but this is one I'm gonna keep. I mean, so, you have to look at it. It's just spend a lot of extra. Okay. Excuse me a minute. No, you're fine. I do a Toys for Tots show over in Sevierville mm -hmm. at the Quaker St. Luke thing. Okay. Every year, this is our tenth year of doing this. Isn't that happening today? No, it's uh, December third. December third. Yep. I thought there was a Toys for Tots car show there today as well. There might be somewhere, but ours okay. is, uh, I always do it the first Saturday of December. Okay. Year. If it rains out, we do it on Sunday. But keep that. I'd love to have you. Okay. Oh. All right. There's I'll no bring. judging or anything. I just give away door prizes and all that. I'll bring something. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Bring a whole bunch of sausage with you. I can. <laughs> Not hard. <laughs> all right. Well, this has been awesome. Thank you, dear. How fast does it go before I... Um, it does very well. It does very well. Yes. Okay. It's uh, dynoed out at 470 something horsepower. Wow. Okay. All right. It's quick. Brilliant.